everyone, today I'm going to be filming my 100th video special. So that video is going to be a tour of the outdoor guinea pig enclosure. So the measurements of this enclosure are 5 metres by 3 metres and that includes this extra space here. So the guinea pigs have about 4 metres by 3 metres but like the whole enclosure is five meters by three meters. So the enclosure is constructed of mainly these wooden posts and then there is mesh to protect the guinea pigs from any predators or to prevent them from escaping. Along the bottom of the enclosure we have this garden border edging. First of all I'm going to be giving you a tour of this area. So this is basically the area where we will be accessing the hutch. To secure the doors in place we have these three locks so I'm just going to unlock them. Now I'm going to open the door. And then this door too. So this really opens up the space and gives me enough room to clean out the hutch because I will need access to this quite a lot. So it's really helpful that these doors open up and then I have much more space inside to clean the hutch out. So I'm just going to show you the inside of the hutch and what it looks like. So the dimensions of the hutch are 190 by 70 centimetres so it's a large enough space for six guinea pigs to shelter in overnight or in the day and this is just an area where they can go if the weather gets bad or it's quite cold or they just want to go somewhere more protected so that is the purpose of this area and um, also inside the hutch we will be um, giving them their hay and um, pellets and that's basically going to be their feeding area and there is also another feeding area outside but this is going to be their main feeding area. As you can see the roof goes up so I can clean it out and this is also um, how I will access it so there's just these like two wooden supports, there's one there and then there's another one at that side. So here is what the inside looks like and there isn't really much in here at all. The bottom of the hutch has been painted with this um, basically like this special paint to protect the wood so it doesn't become damaged by urine or anything so um, that's just to protect it and there's also some lino underneath also to help protect the wood and over there I have a corner litter tray again just to protect the wood and so hopefully they won't wee up the wood or anything and then here is a giant hay rack and this is something you put plants in but I thought it would be a really good um, hay rack and I will definitely get lots of hay in there so that's the inside of the enclosure and I want to keep it as bare as possible really because I want them to spend more time outside and I don't want to crowd up the space because obviously if they all decide to come in here it's going to be a little bit crowned. There will be plenty of room for them because it is large enough but I don't want to, like I said, cram up the space or anything. So. Over here there are some hooks in the wood and this is where the water bottle is going to go. Underneath the hutch we have this area for storage. I'm not too sure what I'm going to put here yet but I'm sure it will be very useful for storing things and it will keep anything dry as it is in a sheltered area. So now for the exciting part and I'm going to be showing you the inside of the enclosure. So before that I'm just going to be showing you the door 
and this is obviously how we access the enclosure so I'm just going to go and open that up to the left we have these hooks and these are just here to attach the bottle onto so here is what the hutch looks like from the inside and as you can see it is fairly big and spacious for the guinea pigs. On this door we just have some perspex and we did get this with one of those doors but we decided to swap it for some perspex so they could have a little window and it would just help with letting some light in. And then over here is the proper door which came with the hutch and a company actually made the hutch for us, we didn't make the hutch so they did a really good job actually, I'm really happy with the hutch. Um, so this just lifts up like that and then if we want to um, leave it open we can do and then they can come in and out as they please or if we want to shut them in there to clean the enclosure or just to keep them in one area we can always shut it to keep them in there and then if I just go a bit further backwards you can see the staircase and I like to call this a staircase because it looks like one and these are just loads of bricks piled on top of each other and this is completely safe and I think it might take them a while to get used to it because they've never had anything like it before and then we have some of this garden border edging just to um, stop them from falling off because if one of them fell from that height it would not be good because it is quite a big drop so we just have this here to prevent any falls so this is what separates the two areas and we just have some border edging stuff and then we have some pieces of slate and that again just prevents any bedding from being um, trailed into here as we want to keep this area nice and clean so that is just to separate the two areas off so you may be wondering what bedding we're using and this is called hemp which is very similar to Arbios and some of you may be wondering why um, we have bedding down because obviously when it rains it will get soaked but hemp is not very absorbent at all and the water basically just runs right through it and doesn't soak into the bedding much at all so when it rains the rainwater will go through the bedding and then soak into the soil underneath and here is one of the trees which we have kept in this area this area used to be like um, full of loads of plants and trees and different things so we did decide to keep this one because it looks nice and it's high up so they won't be able to um, eat any of the leaves or anything now I'm going to show you this area over here so we did raise one of the areas up a bit just to add a bit of variety and make it more interesting for them so again we have some more of this um, edging and we got this for a really good price because it had been reduced so that was really good we got it for a good price and I think we got that from home base so first we have this ramp thing and this is just made of three bits of wood joined together and it's kind of like a ramp because they can jump from one to the other and they can go over it so that is what we have there and then we have another log and we actually have logs delivered to our house because we have a wood burning stove and the man who delivers the logs um, knows that we have guinea pigs because we told him and um, we asked him if he would be able to carve like a little arch shape in one of the logs um, so we could create like a nice natural looking tunnel for them and that's what he did for us and I think it looks really cute actually it's like a nice little tunnel and it looks really natural Next we have this tunnel which leads to the area down there and we have another log there just to um, block off this gap because I don't really want them squeezing through there so we just have a log there and then it leads down to here and we basically have these two old plant pots and I think they broke into like half and it made a really good like guinea pig house shape so we have two little hidey houses and then I put 
a bendy bridge over the top just to make it into a bigger shelter for them. At the back of the enclosure we just have this bamboo and I think it makes the enclosure look a lot nicer. Here is the other raised area and this is where we're going to be planting things and we have already planted a few things but I think we may be planting some more so there's like lavender and rosemary and herbs like that. In between the two garden border edgings we have this hideaway and this is one of my favourite parts of the enclosure, I think it is so cute. We have three of those plastic igloos buried under there and that will really help them keep sheltered and then we got these two bits of wood, one there and then one there, I think there might be another one there actually and then we got this flat piece of rock and placed it across the top so they can walk over that or jump onto it so that is one of the hideaways which is buried underground well not really underground but it's buried quite low and then um, if it does rain or the weather is bad they can always shelter down there and keep dry so next to that we have this tunnel which is just here and then we have another hideaway here which is made up of mainly rocks so there's a rock there a rock there and then we have this flat piece of rock and that just runs across the top and they can actually get a really good view out of there if they jump on there they can see the whole garden <laughs> and then we have another piece of wood just to support that piece of rock and this is very stable so it's not going to go anywhere it is very sturdy and then we have some more of those pieces of wood running across the top just so they don't fall down the gap at the back next to that we just have a rock which they can climb over over here we have these two plant pots and this piece of rock on top again this is very sturdy so it's not going to go anywhere and they can also look out from here so next to that we have this feeding station and I really really like this so it's basically this um, I think it's made out of willow and um, it's like in a wigwam shape and then we got some branches off this fir tree just to create this sheltered area where they can eat and obviously they're not going to want to go in the hutch every time they want hay or pellets so we created this area for them so they can stay dry and eat so like I said we have some fir branches on here most of them are just like um, wedged into the top but some of them are tied on with string so that goes almost down to the bottom and then we have this little entrance here and here is the hay rack and this is like a hanging basket which you'd put flowers in normally so now I am going to give you an overview of the whole enclosure thanks for watching this video I really hope that you enjoyed seeing the tour of the outdoor enclosure because I have been really looking forward to sharing it with you so hopefully you enjoyed it and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did so yeah I will see you guys next time bye